Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and welcome to the third dimension. So I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, you know today we have an extremely, <coughs> excuse me, today, why do I keep coughing when I'm making a video? <laughs> so you know today we have an extremely uh, fun and an interesting project. So check this picture out. Um, this is called the famous Leonardo's glass cube. And uh, look at how awesome and how aesthetic the architectural design is. You know, there's a combination of different, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there's a combination of different hard and uh, organic surfaces. And, uh, you know, we have this sort of DNA shaped um, design. This is a DNA shaped design, isn't it? Uh, you know, the ones we saw in Bowles. So, you know, there's a combination of everything. And uh, finally, you have an awesome piece of architectural art. And uh, right here, we have this, uh, you know, these are these river stones, isn't it? Um, for example, if we go to Google and if we um, simply write um, river stone. So check this out. This is, um, you know, the one I'm talking about. So check both of them out. <laughs> Aren't they, you know, they, these are river stones and which are concreted or merged together. So, you know, we're going to be making this exact thing, uh, this exact same thing inside Revit. It's going to be a fun project. We have a curtain wall right here. So overall, it's an awesome design, All right? Let's quickly get started. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, architectural template. And, uh, you know, instead of, uh, for example, if we go to, we simply go to Google and if we write on Leonardo's glass cube, this, these are all the, the images that pops out and, uh, you know, we can use them. For example, this is an awesome, um, you know, this is an awesome rendering image which we can take as a reference. There's nothing wrong with taking reference images, right? Um, and uh, this is a nice picture right here. So let's quickly get started. We're going to be using different reference images and we're going to try to get that exact shape. So we're in level one. The, you know, the first thing is always the, the site plan. Instead of making these river stones and everything, you know, and, and messing up small uh, bits here and there, how about we... How about, you know what we do? Um, how about we just add an image? So, <coughs> excuse me, um, scale, one, two, and uh, right here. So check this out. So this is our site plan. Uh, so, you know, instead of doing it manually, if we use these reference images, we can sort of get the exact shape, isn't it? Um, let's make this a bit um, up, a bit big. So let's quickly get started. The first is always the floor. Let's quickly make the floor um, from this point to this point right here. So if we zoom in, uh, correct, correct, and correct. Fine. So the floor is done. Let's quickly pin this image. Okay, so that it doesn't uh, move. So um, the first uh, task is done. Now the second task. Um, we have a curtain, we have three curtain walls and, uh, well, even if we have curtain walls, that we're going to merge. So the first thing is always the wall. We do not want it to be wall center line. We want it to be face interior or exterior and a rectangle. And uh, let's click, nope, um, before clicking, uh, we need to set it to level two. So now let's click and uh, it is outside the boundary. How about space? And uh, it's inside the boundary. So done again. Now let's go to north. Uh, I want my level 2 to be what? I want it to be 14 feet. And uh, our progress is to the point. So now, um, architectural roof. Yes, we want a roof to be on level 2. We do not want uh, defined slopes. So we want it to be a plain uh, rectangle. All right. Um, done. Our progress is uh, 3D view. So check this out. <laughs> our progress is good. Uh, now, um, curtain walls. You know what? Before that, um, we're going to have these uh, these corner mullions, isn't it? So I think, um, um, I mean, um, you know, finding the right position for those. Attaching your mullions first is the right idea. So this one, let's bring it right here. This one, let's bring it right here. Okay. And uh, let's go back to, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go back to 3D view and uh, shift and rotate um, and uh, architectural and the uh, mullions and uh, so corner is this one right hmm. 
but uh, okay you know what we cannot add the money and until we add our our uh, our curtain wall isn't it so how about um, to the right I think this is fine right and uh, to the right again to the right okay and uh, this one also to a bit to here right and uh, the same case with this so done and uh, now architectural wall <coughs> excuse me curtain wall okay and uh, fine highlighted walls overlap and uh, right here and right here fine okay how about we select this go to edit and uh, embed all right so okay from you know how about we go down we select this edit and uh, automatic embed now let's go to 3d view and uh, realistic so guys check this out our progress is uh, perfect and uh, now it's the main task so you know our curtain walls are on west south and east on north we have the wall all right let's go to level one and uh, everything is to the point so the first of all is um, the east now how are we going to make those aesthetic designs <laughs> so again we're going to be <coughs> excuse me we're going to be using the a reference image uh, insert and uh, image and uh, desktop and uh, right here so okay this is the one that we're going to need how about we scale it down and uh, scale it down let's go to wireframe let's uh, attach this so scale it a bit up and uh, scale it up right it's perfect isn't it and uh, this is our our the curtain wall that we would have to edit nope so we do not want to edit that back and uh, a bit back okay and uh, a bit down further down so this is it right it's perfect from this point uh, a bit up um, a bit down right here I think that's perfect now and uh, so this is the the curtain wall that we have to edit so edit profile and uh, as you guys can see you know this is a, a nice way of doing it and now it's just um, copying the profile so right here And uh, how about we right here, right? And the uh, same keys for this. So tracing it, right? Let's trace. Okay, done. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, further tracing it down <coughs> right here and uh, trace, trace. Okay, and now it's just a split element. So, so right here, okay. And the uh, same case is here um, split element, split element and uh, right here okay right here and uh, all right so check this out <coughs> excuse me um check this out so we have already successfully you know duplicated that design all right uh, so this is a you know sort of a shortcut way of uh, doing it and uh, we can do the same case again uh, for example if we import this image so same as before scale it down and uh, scale
now if you go to our 3d view and uh, check this out guys <laughs> so this is an awesome way of doing it i mean now if we had done this uh, manually so you know we would have encountered many problems so these are the aesthetic you could say dna sort of designs and this is our one so they look perfect doesn't it check this out they look very nice and uh, so you know it's the same workflow which i'll be doing for the three of them i'm going to pause the video it's going to take um, some time but the overall the workflow and the method is the same right so you can just copy this method if you want to all right guys so check out the progress we have made uh it looks awesome already <coughs> uh excuse me so you know the uh, I, I skipped this part because there was, there was nothing basically to show uh, so once I was done with these designs following the same workflow, I just went to level 1 and uh, you know I went to um, curtain grids and I added these grids here you guys can go and then I <coughs> excuse me uh, and then I arrayed it uh, by 4 feet alright arrayed by 4 feet and there are a total of 10 arrays so after that I just added the millions and checked this out mm. our progress is to the point everything looks um, awesome and good as you guys can see, <coughs> excuse me, why do I keep coughing, man? So anyways, uh, as you guys can see, so this is uh, the reference image and uh, check our model out. Okay, uh, so everything looks good. Now let's quickly go to level one back again. And uh, you know, we even have these uh, these internal, you could say, curtain walls from the inside. And uh, you know, I was thinking, should we add our curtain walls or should we just um, add simple walls? Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's just uh, let's go to generic and uh, edit type, duplicate, and uh, let's go to materials. So uh, you know it's sort of uh, an aluminium, I believe, L, -L U M I N I U M. Um, that is the wrong spelling, but uh, okay, let's just uh, okay replace. Branded view and uh, so let's use aluminium and let's quickly uh, draw this out. All right, so now we have uh, the main uh, floor. For this, uh, we're going to be using the floors. Um, edit, duplicate, and uh, edit again and. Uh, Alright, so you know we add another layer, uh, delete, let's add another layer, so the first layer is going to be 4, the second layer, um, <coughs> excuse me, the second layer is going to be 1 inches, and uh, you know we'll change the material later on, so now we'd have to trace this floor out, alright, uh, for this let's go to line, and uh, let's, um, not line, let's go to spline, and uh, let's Alright guys, um, so check this out, and <laughs> it took so long, uh, if you go to 3D view, I have uh, sketched out, I have traced all the shapes, and uh, there was so much tracing to do, um, so now um, once we're done with that, how about we just OK, and uh, I think it's going to take some time because there's so much data to process, so this is the shape that we have ended up with now, <laughs> excuse me, now it's just um simply i mean choosing these and uh one by one oops we do not want to <laughs> excuse me and uh how about <laughs> excuse me how about grass uh all right and uh so you rendered view fine and uh that is done the other one is again gonna be um, so blocks b l o c k s and uh, yeah let's let's just choose these so right here use rendered view and uh, nope they do not look good uh, how about um, b l o c k s Okay, uh, how about T I L E S tiles? Something white. Um, 
All right, guys, uh, welcome back and check this out. Our model is completed and uh, it looks extremely nice. I'm very happy with the model that I have made. And, uh, you know, I skipped some s uh, small parts of the video because it, um, you know, it's it's actually there wasn't there wasn't anything much to show. I just traced these and uh, I added the materials and I changed the materials a little bit. I included a topo surface. I added these low poly trees and a few lights and uh, check out our overall model, it looks quite nice. After that I went to the ceiling plan which is the level 1 ceiling on the right side and uh, I added these um, small ceiling lights. I aerated it and a total of, we have a total of uh, 4, 8, 12 and 16 lights and these are the internal walls. So I mean uh, you know all of these small details are skipped it because they took so much time and uh, otherwise the video would get too boring. And uh, apart from that, our modeling is, uh, I think it looks very acceptable, isn't it? I'm quite happy with the structure that we have modeled. And uh, so, you know, this is this is what we have. Check this out. The Leonardo's uh, glass cube. It looks really nice. Now, let's go uh, to the rendered view. And uh, guys, this is our rendered view. And look at how nice it looks. So I'm very happy with our model. It looks quite good. All right, let me change this to the morning view. And this is that white material. So I think now it looks fine, right? So apart from that, our model is good, isn't it? Check this out. Our Leonardo's glass uh, cube, I think it looks very awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, make sure to subscribe and like. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more interesting uh, architecture videos, right? So, bye-bye.